Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm still sick, but you know what better way to deal with being sick than to blow things up, light them on fire, blow them up again perhaps, maybe even electrocute them. This is a single command block creation, it's called Modern Weapons by the Red Engineer. It adds in four new weapons to the game, totally vanilla, all you need is 1.11 in the command which will be linked in the description. Why don't we get into things? We'll start off on the left here with sticky bombs. They're really cool. Dude, this is, it's actually pretty nifty here. So all you'll need is a slime ball and some gunpowder to make the sticky bombs. And then you need a lever and some redstone for the detonator. If you want to get all the recipes and stuff, all you have to do is right click on the sign here. It tells you everything you need to know. I've got all the items laid out though for convenience here. So let's make them. All you do, as usual, you throw them on the ground. So slime ball and gunpowder, that makes the sticky bombs. And then we've got the redstone and the lever. Now it's advisable for before you throw out any sticky bombs, create the detonator because the way that you detonate the bombs is by tossing the detonator out like so. Um, so if you've laid down any bombs, the second you craft the detonator, it'll blow them all up. So uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, it's thrown like a snowball. It's really cool, right? Like if I want to just deploy a sticky bomb, boom, it's over there and it displays like a, it's like a player head with a TNT skin on it, and then the way that I blow it up is I just toss out the dent. This is so cool, dude. It's so cool, isn't it? Now, alternatively, say you placed one down, you want to remove it, you just have to get close. I know, it sounds a little bit scary, like I'm gonna toss the detonator out while I'm standing right next to this thing, but you do it within like a five block radius, it'll remove the bomb, you'll be able to collect it, and it goes back in your inventory. Obvious obviously, if you're in survival mode, um, you don't have unlimited ones, you need to keep crafting them, so. There's that for you, but uh, let's just uh, rain down some fire right around here. Why not? Just throw out a few. Okay, that uh, that didn't mean to do that. We'll uh, we'll we'll blow this one up, or no, we'll collect this one. We'll simultaneously blow all those ones up. Yep, that works. <laughs> let's get a better a better vantage point here as I'm throwing it out, so I don't accidentally do that to myself again. All right, one more with a better viewpoint. Throwing out the detonator. <laughs> So cool, dude. It's so cool. That should totally be a thing in like real Minecraft being able to remote detonate TNT with some switch you have in your inventory. I don't know. I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, we'll put those back and we'll move on to the flamethrower. So flamethrower requires flint and steel and a blaze rod in order to make. Just throw them on the ground as usual. And then the way that you have to power this thing because it does require fuel is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put it in your second hand slot and then exit out and you can just drop a block of coal and it automatically fuels the thing I think he said for 600 ticks so then while you have this thing equipped all you do is crouch and it'll start shooting out in one of I think he has eight directions set up so like north south east west and then all the in-betweens so boom and it pushes you back like it's actually got some some recoil on it like a real flamethrower here and then if obviously we have a mob in the way then uh, it's gonna catch on fire, which is very unfortunate for it. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? See, lighting everything on fire. I missed him. That's okay. I'm above him. There we go. Let's light you on fire. And not only does it light mobs on fire. No, 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 no. Let's head over here. There we go. Now it's lighting the forest on fire. Okay. So uh, if you like destroying things with fire, if you're a bit of a pyromaniac, um, then then this is the tool for you. All right, burn everything down. There you go. Okay, so that is uh, the flamethrower. Next up, we've got mines, and we can craft them because you get it. Mine craft. <laughs> this game we're playing. Okay, terrible puns. Uh, trip wire hook plus TNT. Drop them on the ground to get a mine. These are really really cool. You want to know why? Because you can legitimately hide them. Look at the forest burning down over there. Okay, so if I place it on the ground, right? It does the weird villager thing, but that is an indicator that there's a mine. Right? Okay. So if I walk over it, kaboom! Blows up. Alright, fair enough. That's all pretty straightforward. But, say you want to conceal the thing, you can put it down there, and then you can actually straight up cover it. Just, even though the thing is sticking out of the ground, you can still place down a block as normal, and then boom! Blows up as you walk over it. How cool is that? And then say you put it in the wrong location, you're like, oops, didn't mean to do that, don't really want to mine there. All you do is break the block, you get the mine back, you can use it again, different, different spot. It's pretty cool, dude. Come on. Like, that's pretty awesome. Isn't it? Just like quick, kaboom, blow up, walk on it, kaboom. And then if you line up multiple mines next to each other, they'll set each other off. So it's not really super useful to do, but just for the sake of demonstration, 
Boom, blows them both up. Or actually, no, it didn't blow them both up. That actually uh, retrieved the other one, and I was able to put it back in my inventory. So, it can work either way, I guess. Anyway, now that you've seen the mines, let's move on to the final item, which is uh, the taser, which is pretty nifty. So, taser is crafted using 10 blocks of redstone and a fishing rod, so it's a little bit on the uh, expensive side at least in the way of redstone. Uh, the way this thing works is you just basically fish for a mob and uh, <laughs> electrocutes it. So you know, you see that, oh God. Okay, you can also electrocute yourself, which I was gonna get to in just a second, but here we go, let's hook you. And electrocuted. And there you go, and electrocuted. Now the reason why I shake a little bit as I throw it is because I'm in proximity to the bobber or I should say, what, what would it be? The electrode? Is that the thing that actually... I'm trying to keep it to taser terms here. But see, when I throw it out, I oscillate slightly. It's because I'm right in contact with the thing. And if I walk over to it while it's on the ground, it'll start electrocuting me. Now, if I switch on over into survival here, and I walk up to this thing while it's on the ground... Don't want to do that! Don't want to do that! Okay, so it, it'll electrocute you. Um, so you, you just keep that in mind if you're using this thing in survival. Uh, and then also if you really want to, if you want to play a game of catch over here, you can do this and land it on yourself. And, uh, <laughs> you start, start electrocuting yourself until you, uh, recoil the thing back in. So keep that in mind. A little bit of a, a little bit of a dangerous thing if you're not too careful with it, but it can be pretty cool. Like if you just hook it on a, say like a, a zombie or something like that, or we'll say a spider because the spider has more health and I'm sick and I know how to spell things right now, but we'll do this, hook it on the spidey, and just rock him back and forth a little bit until he dies. Does a lot of damage. So anyway, that was it for the four modern weapons that come along with the command. Uh, well done. I like them. Good job, Red Engineer. Again, if you want to check out the original video and, and command to try it for yourself, that'll be linked in the description. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like if you did and um, check out the playlist in the description if you want to see more of these command block videos. Done a lot of them in the past and did one a couple days ago and uh, or yesterday. No, time flies. Um, anyway, <laughs> subscribe for more videos in general if you're not already and I will see you next time. Bye.